Hey, Mark Allen, man, tell the folks, man, you ain't been on the show like in 20 years, maybe 17, 18 years. But tell folks, uh, who is Mark Allen and what do you do? <laughs> well, you know, Mark Allen, Mark Allen is who, I'm the same Mark Allen from yesterday, uh, 38 years ago when I started in the movement, learning how to be a freedom fighter. Uh, I'm the same Mark Allen today, 38 years later, of working on behalf of lifting up the least of our people. And so uh, I've been a grassroots community organizer since the age of 12. And I, so I've been an organizer, I'm still an activist, and we've lifted that level up to now become a journalist and communicator and public speaker uh, 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 and voice and, and leadership for this next generation. And so being around all those years have brought me now at this stage of my life to know that black leadership has done the best that it can do, but it's not the best that could be done. And so I'm back in the community, uh, right back here in Bronzeville, where our black leadership development started. You know, I was here with the, with the late Lou Palmer and Georgia Palmer on 37th Street before I got to Rainbow Push and the, and the Urban League and the National Coalition on Black Voter Participation and, and so many other groups. But so Mark Allen today is still just a graduated level of the Mark Allen of yesterday, never, ever surrendering to the fact that somebody has to remain in the community to lift up the voices uh, uh, and, and, and the needs of the least of our people and to start lifting the least of our people back up where they belong. And so while the social media has taken us to one level, I have to keep reminding people that we've got to go back and never forget, no matter how many pieces we can add to the house, nobody can forget how to keep the base uh, sound. And so. From the first black mayor to the first black president, Mark Allen is still an active and systematic voice for the empowerment of the least of our people. Hey, Mark, you knew Harold Washington, right? Yes, I did. And you know President Barack Obama? Yes, I, yes, I do. So let's talk about Mark Allen in the context of this mayoral race. You know, everybody's got their money on Rahm Emanuel. Should we vote for Rahm Emanuel? <laughs> Well, no, I think people should, right vote, people should vote for the best candidate who best represents uh, those, those issues that have been forgotten for such a long time for our people. One of the things that we just went through was a classic example of what I mentioned earlier. When we invest so much in social media, when we invest so much in, in, in letting the TV and the radio become the field operation for campaigns and parties and organizations, Guess what we've done? We forgot the least of our people. And so uh, I'm still concerned that after record spending in this country on elections, black and poor people still don't know which candidate best represents the issues of those people coming through uh, drug rehab. We still don't know which candidate best represents the issues of homeless people. We still don't know which candidate best represents uh, a return to taking back over uh, of the school system. We still don't know who represents looking out for the least of our people. We still don't know who's in charge and who's going to lift up the job training and developing and the manufacturing uh, in these urban communities. We still don't know. And why don't we know? Because we've allowed this mass media to educate us without definition. It's like fighting for affordable housing and guess what? Never defining what affordable means. And so we are at this level uh, uh, here in Bronzeville where, we, where we're doing several things out of this office uh, and we're located in the community uh, right here on 35th and King Drive where we do a number of things here. I'm the associate editor of the South Street Journal newspaper. I'm on the board of the Black Wall Street Project and just elected to national spokesperson for the Black Wall Street Project. That's gonna do what? Go back to basics and, and use black talent and black dollars and black partnerships to rebuild black owned and operated communities all over the country. So saying that is to say this, black people have to know, number one, don't answer a question with, with, with a defeatist answer already in it. And I just want black people to know that in Chicago today, Remember that Mayor Daley, in his 23 years, never ever won an election with more than 350,000 votes of the total city votes. And guess what, friends? Especially you listen to Chicago. Why Daley never won with more than 350,000 of the total city? 
black people alone forgot that they had 600,000 registered black voters on the books by their damn darn self, because I'm there, by their doggone self, and had the power to unelect that man if they wanted to anytime they want. But we spend more time being subjected to classism and not knowing that while 200,000 of our people kept on voting and kept on doing what they were doing because the mayor might have protected a certain class, for, there were more people who had the power to move him out of office. We just didn't know it. And so, so a, a, a lot of giants, sleeping giants, have been made to feel like they were grasshoppers for 23 years. And I'm saying that day is over. And so we start this campaign with, first of all, knowing before you decide who you vote for, decide that whoever it is, you've got the power all by yourself. And, and I don't mind saying that because we worked too many years to get to the point of being the majority of this city. We worked too long to have the absolute majority of registered voters to sit back and just give the office and the power away to somebody else without knowing that we could claim it for ourselves if we, if we had the mind to.